So I'll come back. Not much else to do. Let's get on going. Daily grind. Oh, well, those might Gary meow. Keep it going, Gary. <laughs> Sometimes I, w I imagine in theory you could probably get to a point where you just sit on that screen the entire time. If you're with some combination of luck and a lot of experience and all the stuff that you're cooking. It is kind of ironic that I might actually be ending up taking more time in total. With these meals, with these orders, or to, to finish the entire shift I mean. Ooh. By, by putting everything in front because it prevents me from combining things as often. So I can't combine an order if it's already being prepared. I'm not sure how the time really works out there. In total, on average. Let my spatula guide you. Patrick has the most interesting expressions in this game. I think Patrick's a, a tough character to whoops, do in 3D. Even more so than the other characters. But the thing is, you have so much... You have so many examples from other games and whatnot to go off of with how to depict these characters in 3D. I don't think there's much excuse. Oh, come on. Really, that one too? I feel like there are pretty decent canonical notions of what these characters look like in 3D at this point with how many times they've been depicted in 3D space, even though they weren't designed for that originally. It's easy to not notice anything, or at least for me as a person playing this and usually looking elsewhere. But SpongeBob actually has an animation for... That's a little uneven, dude. Animation for moving from... Multiple animations, actually, I think. Yeah. For moving from one place to another. In fact, he has two animations that he kind of uses at random. For moving from one station to another. I appreciate that. What's going on with Gary? Sandy needs some help of the Charakay variety! Precisely nothing. That is not the variety SpongeBob. She needs painting. Nice call music. Another one down. Go Gary. Turn that frown upside down. Ah, that guy needs help too. I hope you... you better learn how to whisk very, very good. After I do this for you so many times. This one can be tricky. No, it's not. Watch this. Perfection. My workers need help. I don't know why I keep going. Well, I don't think we actually have any, uh... More orders at this point. I need to be better at recognizing when we don't have any orders left. When I see that we have six up the top left corner, as in six orders remaining, it makes me think, oh, okay, I should still see like six or so up here on the screen. But that's not the case because we have plenty that are already in the process of being cooked. And that's why I'm not seeing anything else on the first screen. I'm not waiting for more things to join the queue. Oh, Look how quick that guy's cutting. Nicely done. Like how you actually see them start and finish their job too. It's not like they just have an animation that loops as they, well, in a lot of cases it is the case I think, but in that case it's not a looping animation, 
it's actually animation of them cutting all the stuff, and they're done. And then the food moves to the next place. It's really cool. It just all goes together real nicely. I'm not sure why there's timing involved in garnishing something. As well, just get the experience or something, I guess. Well, I imagine I have it. I don't remember how much I have on garnishing specifically, but I imagine I have a ton of experience for garnishing stuff at this point. Because I do it a lot and always get perfect on it. Another? Jeez. Oh, hey! It would be cool if I had more more jellyfish stuff here, but I don't. Yep, gosh, is I think my best skill, actually. Smell coating is caught up too, maybe just because I do a lot of it. Guess I took a while to get the hang of it. I'm getting all the Marine and Bargo Boy stuff now! Why can't I get jellyfish things? That's what I really want. And I wish I could use jellyfish recipes too, but I don't like any of them. That's just the bros. Oh, but we do have those. Why not? <laughs> the salad will at least be useful later when we are also using the tropical theme. I'm not sure how much sense the tropical theme makes when you're underwater. Oh <laughs> We've made a whole, I think, two dishes involving jellyfish. Maybe three. Meh. <laughs> Alright, nice, nice decision for the real important dish. Gruesome. Are you like making the bread ourselves? Everything is stirring! I guess because jelly stuff always involves stirring. I guess that's the logic? Oh, maybe that was the peanut butter we were making earlier. Oh, come on. We're garnishing it with more jelly? But yeah, maybe we're making the, the scene up butter there. Bugs in the covering is why I messed up. But when we mashed stuff, maybe that's what we were doing. Even still, that's a little weird. Also, that was the first time I ever made that dish, so... Just dance in front of him. Episode? Reg. Tough guy. <laughs> this is just gratuitous, and I approve of it. Has Reg ever appeared in a, in a video game? I'm fine with these lesser... Lesser ever. Th this game in, in general is giving lots of love to characters that don't really show up ever. I like that. Not that we get any dialogue or anything with Plankton's Cousins, I guess, but they still get like a mass amount of screen time to make up for it. I did enjoy the Cousins getting screen time in whatever that multiplayer SpongeBob game I played was. <laughs> what was it called? Real nasty food. Oh, okay, so that's that's why that's the theme. Okay, well I already got the, the nasty theme. Well, I guess they can't make it look like a bar. You know, why was it they were able to get away with an actual bar in the Spongebob movie? I, ne I never really thought much about that. At least for our theme is appropriate now. Not that we have appropriate food for it, but we'll get a couple more with challenges, although I'll probably still not like them. Um. 
I don't know if I want to try to do another... Oh, jeez. We have a lot more new things than I expected? We might spend the rest of the episode just looking at all these new things. Where do all these come from? Also, cup fries. Do we have our half fries? French fries, cup fries. And rice... Huh. I thought cup fries were supposed to be the sun job equivalent of cup fries. Do I have powdered jetson too? Stir? No. Stir? No! Why are we stirring with cup fries? There are french fries, actually. What is there to stir? Seriously. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Speaking in rhyme. Stirring? Seriously, they always involve stirring. For these tacos. Roast grape. This actually looks good. Chopped roast grape. I like that, actually. In fact, there's not even any stacking. Arrange. No, I'm not arranging a taco. Tacos can just cease to exist, as far as I'm concerned. But you, on the other hand, you can also cease to exist submarine sandwich. That looks nothing like a submarine sandwich. Oh, I didn't even have to buy these. I didn't notice that. Why don't you just have a bunch of new recipes? Whatever. Boom. So, now we have this, so we have nothing to worry about stirring or anything like that, or stacking. Then we got this. Awesome. We do have leftovers, which is topical, but it has a range, which I don't want to do. Well, I never golden loaf, but it has whisking, so what? And arranging, so never mind. Siri pasta, stir and whisk. No, and arrange. My god! <laughs> it's the worst way I've encountered yet. I think I've seen that one already, yeah. Fine Dutch was special. Uh, it has stacking, so no. Oh, flotsam again. What's with all the flots? Range. Ooh, slingshot. Ah, uh, but has stir. I want to see what this is, though. I'm really curious about slingshot. And we'll probably encounter it again somewhere else anyways, right? I hold off on it. Grind. I, I don't know. It's so much new stuff. I'll do it once. I mean, it's not like we're lacking in... Well, I was about to say, it's not like we're lacking in money. Money's not even the problem. And it's stirring, it's not even just, uh, ugh. It's not even just whisk. Did we have the brulee before? Less stirring and whisking, so whatever. Pudding. I feel like that should be gross themed. Carrot cake. That'll please them. That actually seems pretty cool for me. Chop mill, deep fry. I don't like deep fry that much. This has deep fry though, as well. I like to not have deep fry. It has, hmm. But would I rather have deep fry or whisking? Oh, so there's this. It's a multiple saws, jeez. Huh. So there's something I don't like about the pie, right? This deep fry. This has nothing I dislike, I don't think. Is Squeeze a new one? You might have to see. And sawing, sometimes I don't like. So carrot cake I don't think will do. Well, no. Because I, we have, I might do... Do I want to replace Mud Vibe? Only if... There's only... The only reason to replace Mud Pie is if I have something that doesn't need deep frying. Or anything else I dislike. Kelp Shake has whisking, so I want to replace it. This has nothing I dislike. This has deep fry, so this is not any better than, than Mud Pie. But this is better than the Kelp Shake for me. So I'll use that. Okay, so a couple new minigames next time. Maybe a new mechanic, if 
it's anything like last time. Hopefully we'll get more gross themed food eventually so we can at least make some effort in being topical, but we do have a place that looks apart already, which is cool. I'll uh, see you guys next time in the next episode. Also, I guess this tells you how many episodes there are indirectly. One, two, three, four, five. Five episodes? If they end in mechanics every episode, that's gonna be a lot of stuff eventually, I feel like. But, so we're halfway through the game now, I guess? Huh, there's a lot of game. But, the end is not totally out of sight, I guess. Anyways, bye everyone. We're just growing money, because I have nothing to spend it on.